Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to useful time elements, custom elements or web components from GitHub. And it's a mini library, component library, which helps you to formatting, format dates. What I would like to do or what I already did, I created a small project which runs on browser sync with uh, two files, HTML and JavaScript. So this is just the HTML which references JavaScript. And uh, what I would like to do is to um, activate the modules. So let's do this. Now they are active. And then um, I would also like to create a time elements, custom element extends uh, HTML element and use here the uh, GitHub's components. So custom elements define and now call that uh, time elements elements and this is time elements and uh, I would like just to use it here and um, to make it visible connected connected callback today I would just use a straight ES6 template literals this in HTML equals and now just something doesn't matter so now um, now we should see the output and now we see it okay so now was this was a custom element and now let's integrate inside my custom element or let's use time elements from github and um, so what I will have to do is to install the time elements and they already come in the ESM format so what I can let's create a folder is cleaner and then just install the elements and uh, what happened is in node modules this there is a time element js which is already in the right format it means this is the entire library which exposes a view components um, like local time element relative time element time ago element and so forth so now let's use something and uh, so what i like to do is to start with that relative time and uh, instead of this, just use relative time. And you, what you see is there is something on the screen, but what basically is, is the fallback. So it doesn't work. Why not? Because we will have to load the component first as a ES module. And now, uh, and now looks better on April 2014. So we have, um, so we have here, um, that so what I could do now I can say now new date and use instead of this the no and yeah now is now because um, it translates the date to now so this is not that impressive but uh, what we could try to do is um, just uh, to let's say console lock now is actually let's see what is now now is to iso string this is now so let's use the now and Or some so and let's let's say it is tomorrow so with then with that some it will be tomorrow or on December 19th so um as you can see the uh, time elements from github help you to format uh, dates in strings um, and there are uh, useful function like time until time ago which uh, formats and outputs dates in human human readable format thank you for watching see you at airhex live upcoming conferences or even projects so thank you and bye